Hey guys, welcome. Uh, microphone audio is being broadcasted. Let's see if it's actually working though. Let me know if you can hear me please on the chat. Okay, great. So today, again, we are playing some Dragon Quest Builders, of course, which is just like Minecraft, but just with better graphics. Uh, so let's get started. I hope you guys enjoy it. I've already beat this game, but, you know, uh, let's uh, let's beat it together. Guille, my child. All right, Guille, my child, you have finally awoken. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? What you are? I see. So you have no recollection of before. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is for the best. Uh-oh. After so long of a slumber, no doubt your body still will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. <gasps> oh, gosh, that scared me. I need to roll. <laughs> I had to put the volume down on my headphones. Holy, holy moly! Press the left stick to move around and press the jump. Okay. All right, so it's been a while since I played this game, guys. So bear with me. So that's how you jump. Thank goodness, it all seems well. Yes, I can move. You can fulfill your role. Yeah, my child, I have awoken you that you might. Uh, I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may. Hello viewer, welcome. What? I do not doubt that you might feel a little poorly. But it's not the fate of the world more important than... Oh, my poor child. Is it true? You are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. Some flowers. Let's see some flowers. Here's my child. Take this white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. Alright. So, let's see what you collect in these. Special power the power to combine raw materials and build items in you. Ooh, I am the guy, Gige the Builder. Okay. So, to build new things from raw materials. Now use the healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Press square. Okay. Using items, you can use an item by selecting the wound. Okay. Alright, so you can do that and then square to use it. Awesome. Alright, we're on our way to building a town. Okay. I, it lo I look the same, but if you say so. Created that with my own two hands. Yes, thank you very much. All right. But we must learn a few very well. I will show you how to build a path out of this. Oh look, I just keep finding stuff on the ground. How convenient. First, take this broken branch. That humble broken branch sleeps a cypress stick, the simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump as before and use it to craft a cypress stick. Alright. So one broken branch equals one of these. Two Thriving civilizations. That is spell civilizations. I feel like that's misspelled. And as uh, all great civilizations do, so too they build weapons. But now only you have the power to build such things. I'm like, well, who's that? Who's talking to me? Um, I can well imagine you are eager to see the world outside. But would you not rather learn more of? Nope. Very well. 
to build a path out of here, first you must equip the weapon you have made. Press X to open the menu, and place the cypress stick into your hand. Alright, so X is our menu. Uh, The very fates of the people of this world rest on your shoulders. No pressure. If this land is ever again to see the light, you must fulfill your sacred duty and <clears throat> let me out. Oh, I fell asleep. Did I fall asleep? Oh, <laughs> I fell asleep. She's talking too much. Are you guys asleep? Let me know in the comments. Don't fall asleep. Nope. Yeah, let's let's finish it outside. All right. So how do I get outside? Must first break apart and collect nearby earth. Okay. So press triangle to break things. Okay. Uh, so this is how we collect things. Uh, you can press the L1 and R1. So L1 is down. It makes you look down. And then R1 makes you look up. I mean, sorry, L1. Which is right, so it looks like we have enough, and they're teaching us how to how to use it. But uh, we know how to use it. We press square. Ugh, I keep pressing X to jump. Ooh. Who here believes that X should be to jump? Let me know. Ooh. Can I break those stairs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay, our first stairs. Easy peasy. We should probably we should probably also take some of this uh Oh I forgot there's fall damage. Some of this grass, some of this leaves, since we gotta make some potions. And probably some more. Now the as you can see at the bottom obviously uh, the items do have durability. So you gotta be careful, gotta keep an eye on that. Uh, I don't know this one's are green, there's still grass, there's some decoration on them. There's still earth, I mean. Um, ooh, bones. Can I collect those? No. 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 Alright, I think that's all we can collect from here. What about, what about my tombstone? Can I get that? No. Finally escaped. Well done, Guilla. You have found your way back to the outside. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of Alephgard before you. Light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. The people who inhabit this somber realm once had the power to create until it was wrenched from them. Without it, the culture, their culture crumbled into dust. Guille, my child, you have been entrusted with a momentous mission. Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt and the people of Alephgard arise once more. I beg your pardon? I don't want to do that. I don't get it. <laughs> Forgive me, my child, after having only just awoken from so long a slumber, this must all come to as quite a shock. Yeah, let us adopt a more simple approach. Save the world. Use the power of creation that dwells within you and rebuild their world however you see fit. No doubt you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. So, too, will you come to learn of the tragic tragedy that befell this world and the role you are to play in the salvation. I am Rubies, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and now that I do watch over you always. Oh, and no. Ugh, I can't even read. Oh, and Guille. There's one last thing that you must know. You gotta save the world. Oh, I am not a hero. <sighs> what 
Well, then what am I doing here? I am not a hero. Look at those graphics. Look at this. Look at those little blue slime. So cute. Oh. So we have a lot of places to explore right from the get go. Uh, the land you see before you was once known as Catlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here, ranged all around the stout fortification. But all was destroyed in the relentless attack by the monsters. Scarcely a trace remains of this former greatness. Uh, Kija, my child, you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Kelly and his former glory. How many times are you going to say that? This will be the first step on your journey to make Alfgard arise once more. To this end, I bestow onto you a gift. Is it money? Oh, a flag. Ah, uh, almost as good as money, I guess, in this game, since everything is destroyed. Take the banner of hope, and you will seek the source of the light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed, closed in around them, the men and women of Catlin flew this flag to the bitter end. I'm <laughs> sorry, guys. Plant the banner in this last in this land once more. That is, thoughtful light might serve as a symbol of Catlin's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light. Obtains the banner of hope. All right, guys. So let's take a look here. Uh, that's where we came out of. I like to explore. Um, let me show you here. All right. Sorry about that, guys. Give me a moment. Alright guys, so it looks like we have our first enemy here. Let's see if we can get something out of it. So it's not a turn-based game. It is uh, hack and slash, I guess. Uh, we got a feather. And I learned how to make chimera wings. A fastly tied fan of fluttering feathers instantly transports you to your base. Nice. Uh, now I have to craft it, so we can't, we can't just use that right now. It. So let's just go and start the missions, I guess. Uh, I think we have enough earth. We have some stairs to make it look nice. We have some white flowers to make some medicine, so let's get those. Uh, and even the flowers can damage your, um, your durability of your items, so you gotta be careful. Uh, looks like we have some loose slime. And are they gonna just have to do stuff? Uh, we have a crafting table here. Uh, let's make, oh, we need five. We need five to make uh, three camera wings. Okay, uh, let's just put the banner here. Oh, where did the light go? I don't know, but I'm sure if I do this. Oh, again. Alright, a warm and soothing light spreads all around. People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning. Light. Look, my child, here's one already. Oh, I guess somebody's coming. Hey, welcome, viewer. How are you doing today? We're playing some Dragon Quest Builders. Alright, here comes some guy that wants to tell us, or a girl, I guess. Okay. Or she has some muscle in her hand. What's this funny flag doing here? 
Wow, what a snooty person. There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. You were just saying, why is this flag there? You're so... flippity flap. My name's Pippa. What's yours? What up, Pippa? Mind, you don't know, not even gonna listen to what my name is? Great, thanks. Um, let's talk to Pippa again. What's that? You're the one who planted the flag here? Who are you? Where did you come from? Uh, I don't remember. You don't remember? The good, the goddess told you to come here. So you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices? That's not suspicious in the slightest. She probably thinks I'm so crazy. Uh, she's probably thinking about running away now. <laughs> don't run away, people. We need you here. Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Well, I would have to make a, a house for you first. I don't know you people. I don't think I want to blow you anything. You are, you are all up in my face right here. You want to start something? Look, look, look how angry I look. You want to start something, people? <laughs> I'll break you. <laughs> all right, people. Give my child, even with the power that dwells within you. You cannot rebuild the kingdom alone. Uh, that's what you think. Your first step in rebuilding the city must be to house those who join in the living here. People, you are so bossy. Is that people talking or is that the voices in my head? I don't even know anymore. Maybe people isn't even here. Little remains of this dilapidated, dilapidated, dilapidated house. Save the doors, repairs it by filling in the holes, walls with the earth. You can place blocks above by holding L1 and below by holding R1. Yep, just like I told you guys. Hold down the uh, square and you will place one block on top of another. Hold it down while moving, you will place that many blocks in succession. Take this knowledge and these blocks of earth and make the ruined house livable when you ruin house. Uh, so I obtained five blocks of earth, I guess that's as many as I need mean, just to complete the room. Uh, this town just needs so much redecorating. Let's actually, let's do that. Uh, uh, I don't like how this town looks. Uh, if it's gonna be my town, it better be a good town. Pippa, you're, you're gonna be in for a team. Let me tell you. You're gonna live so fancy, you're gonna leave your boyfriend, you're gonna come live with me. I'm telling you. That guy got nothing on me. If you have a boyfriend. Right, so we're just flying in the earth right now, guys. Magical rocks that just float. Floating rocks. Oh, my bamboo stick is about to break. Alright, so. Uh, let's. We do have a lot, so. Let's, let's seal this place. I feel like I'm a Bob the Builder over here, building stuff. I'm probably gonna get a new credit from Pippa. But that's okay, you know, we don't need validation. We know what we did. Give Pippa some Fs in the chat, come on. She deserves some Fs. Alright, so we're building and building. I wish I had an iPod so I could listen to music. In the game. So, uh, I still don't like all this stuff. I'm probably gonna need to build a... Another cypress stick. Because this one's... Alright, so I got my first Manson workstation. I'm gonna make this time look pretty, guys. Come on. Stairs, probably should have broken more stairs to make it easier. People like, what are you doing? You're destroying all the houses. Ah, take that, Pippa. Take that. Okay, so so the stick can be everything but people. Alright, so we have another cyber stick. Uh, and we're gonna do the um Do the uh, 
crafting station uh, somewhere around there. It looks perfect. Somewhere here. I feel like this should be a this looks like crafting crafting space right here. That's my wife, she loves her Alright, so... Uh, Alright, bam! Alright, let's make another cypher stick. Can I? Yeah. Ooh, I can make an oak... Oaking club! Nice! Uh, that requires two broken branches. So... one extra one so we'll do another cypress stick just because that's going to be the one that's going to be cutting the grass and all that stuff and then we'll use the other one to fight people uh, i don't know what any of that is but let's go ahead and continue the mission guys let's actually do what we came to do which is build people's house and let's get rid of all this grass uh you can tell you're doing it right when it does that that's how you know that you're doing the right thing uh, there's other stuff we're gonna build in the future uh, that require some blueprints. Alright, so Pippa's happy. He's clapping for me. Thank you, Pippa. That's incredible. Wow, that's incredible. The walls were all full of holes, but now they're good, as good as new. Yes, Pippa, that's what happens when you put earth in, in the holes. Huh? You fixed it? With dirt? You were the one that told me to do that! Oh, actually, no, it was, it was the, the voices in my head. I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head. I am. But you completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some s kind of special power. Yes, Pippa. Don't make me angry. Here, take this. Is she gonna kiss me, guys? Is she gonna kiss me? Look at Pippa's just looking at me with those... With those beautiful blue eyes. Pippa! <laughs> Here, take this. Oh, it's not a kiss, guys. Sorry, I got my hopes up. I found them on my way here. You can have them for fixing the house for me. All right, sorry, we got some white petals. Ooh, and she's clapping for me. So it looks like she has another mission. But before we do that, we are going to make some more healing potions. Press square, as you can see at the bottom, let's make as many as possible. So we have 24, so we can make 8. That is so helpful. Now you don't have to craft one by one. Alright, so Pippa has another mission for us. Pippa. Oh, she's blushing, guys. Look at that. You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up the old house like that. How did you do it? Uh, I'm Hispanic, so I can build stuff. What? You got the power to build new things? No, I just said I'm Hispanic. What does Hispanic mean? <laughs> it means I'm um, habla espanol. <laughs> Guille, my child, do you remember what I told you? Long ago, the people of this land lost the power of creation. It is your duty to help them regain this power. Get out of my head. Anyway, I really appreciate you fixing the house like this, but it's not much use without some kind of light inside. Hmm, but I can't see any torches lying around here. So, you know what torches are, but you don't know what building is. Hmm. Pippa, besides your banner of hope, you will find a mason workstation. You can use it to build a torch. Take these materials, use them to construct a torch, and reveal to this girl the fruits of your labors. Pippa, Pippa, you're, we just met. You need to calm down. Alright, so I got a splat of blue glue and a broken branch. Awesome. Alright, Pippa. It's been a little too forward. Alright, so we're gonna make a torch. We can make five torches. Uh, so with one and one, we can make five torches. That's awesome. Alright, she's happy. She's coming after me, guys. Ah. 
Why is she following me to pick us stay over there? I don't trust you. I'm gonna have to put a restraining order against you. You're following me too closely. Hey, where'd you find that torch? Uh, you told me to make it. Uh, was it her? I, I'm so lost right now. There's too many people talking to me at once. You didn't find it. You built it? Ah, so that's what built it. I it into a torch, right? Well, more than that, I, I put, I do this. If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Alright, quest completed. We got a broken branch. Very, very lonely girl. I don't trust you anymore. Yeah, I'm gonna beat you with that stick. <laughs> yeah. What kind of name is that? It doesn't sound like you you'd have any special powers at all. Thanks, people. I'm here building you rooms, building you torches, and you making fun of my name? Oh, but you can't judge someone by their name, right? Anyway, Guille, you've still got those torches you made, right? We should put them on... We should put one in the house. A room is... A room is complete if it has walls, two blocks high, a door, and a source of light to stave off the darkness when the sun has set. Press square to place the creation wherever you wish. Uh, wish. Go, my child, and place the torch inside the house. Alright, so at first I was talking to people, and then all of a sudden the other woman came. The other woman in my life came. Can I put on the. an empty room. Ah! Wow, look at that! Brilliant! Now that is all lit up, the room is perfect. You're amazing, Lee. You really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dopey could, could be so talented. I have fire, don't mess with me. But you can't just so obey their appearance, eh? But, but you seem to say the right things, but you keep doing the wrong things. You sound like my daughter. You say all the right things. Anyway, thanks, Kie. Now we have somewhere to live. Oh, we have a seed of life. I don't know what that's for. Yes, I do. It increases your health. Uh, so let's... Uh, what is it? Uh, is there a way to find out what it does? Hey Guille, thanks to you, I have such a lovely room. But don't you think it would be much better if we had something to sleep? If we had something to sleep on at night? Pippa! Pippa, come on man, this is PG! You gotta keep it, you gotta keep it safe and protected for the kids. We can talk about we, we. I'm gonna make a bed for you, and I'm gonna make a bed for me. We're not sleeping together, Pippa. Look at that, she's trying to kiss me. <laughs> but, but, don't, but don't you think it would be so much better if we had some sleeping at night? I know, maybe you could build something. Pippa, you are very demanding. You sound like my wife. Gie, my child, you must gather materials that you might fashion some bedding. Should you place a bed in a room, you can sleep on it any time, night or day, to restore your health. It would be great if you could make two things to sleep on. Oh, okay, Pippa, I see. Now you're acting all saint-like now. If we had two beds, we could sleep next to each other. Pippa! Pippa, I'm a married man! I just woke up like this. I need to gather the materials. You need to build this straw mattress. Young Pippa request. A straw mattress can be constructed from grassy leaves. To build one, you must first... Oh, see, he's hiding his ring. No, I'm not alright. Voices in my head. What did you say her name was? Oh! I had a... I had like a brain fart and I got an idea of how to make the mattress. Alright. Pippa, I know, I know, I know. Relax. Pippa, let me out. Let me, let me do this for you. Well, I have the seaweeds that I need in order to make the bed. I forgot how I got them, but... 
here. Ooh. Let's make. So it takes five to make one bed. Oh, it takes three. I'm sorry. It takes three and a half, five. So I still need one more because you still need two beds. life yet because I'm pretty sure it increases your maximum health. So we're gonna put a bed here for Pippa. We're gonna put another one here because I don't wanna be next to her. I don't wanna be close to the fire too. We turn into a basic bedroom. Pippa! Yep. Wow look at that Wow, you built us something to sleep on. Thank you, Gie. Whether it is night or day, you can sleep on any bed that is within a room to recover your health. As the sun sets, the darkness will close in around you, and more powerful monsters emerge from the forest. When night falls, you will do well to return to your base, rest your head upon a pillow, and sleep until morning. Yeah, hello? Yeah. Was the goodness was the goddess speaking to you? You were staring off into space with your mouth open wide. Uh, you've got to pay more attention to what's going on around you, DJ. If you keep spacing out like that, you'll never get anything done. Yeah. Okay, so now we begin to feel the the time passing by. Which means we might get hungry. Alright, so we got a compass on the top of the right. It tells you when where we're going. It tells you day or night. I never learned how to read this, but I just look at the sky and know when it's gonna get dark. Uh, but anyways, she wants to tell us something new. Can I ask you something? With all this wandering around and collecting stuff, aren't you getting a little bit hungry? Oh. Yes, I am. Thank you for asking. Are you gonna be cooking? Huh? No, it's not just me. That's not my tummy rumbling. You must be hearing things again. <laughs> now I hear voices in my head and Belly's uh, talking to me too. But anyways, look, there are a lot of plumberry trees around here. Plumberries are kind of small and they don't really fill you up, but they're really sweet and juicy. Can you go and get some plumberries for me, please? We need at least five for a decent meal. Okay. Small pink fruit that never falls far from the tree. Perhaps you should look and see if there are any nearby. Oh, that's nice. So, monsters apparently attack from this direction. over there and then you can equip uh, multiple up to a certain amount of course as you saw um, so I think like it's like five weapons yeah and then uh, you can actually go up and down and you can choose between two so. all right so we're gonna build this wall here because they said so they said that the monsters attack from that side so I look for some plum berries. Just see some. And there's some bats too. Oh, oh, oh. Right, 
Okay, so we got some some new stuff. Let's collect some uh, branches too. Cause oh, oh. I'm sure that uh, where are those? Let's see. Oh, it makes it makes grass. Uh, that's cool. I'm sure there's a way to uh to read what it does. Squares to use. All right here. Okay, so we just got items. All right, so we have only two plumberries. We need at least five for this meal. So five. She's probably gonna just eat the whole thing by herself. She's something like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get five more. There's mushrooms. Can I put something with mushrooms? Thunberry mushroom. Sounds like a good recipe. Oh, you gotta be careful. Don't fall in the water. Uh, so you'll find some of the benches here as well. Just throughout the, uh, throughout the game. As well. Alright, so let's get some blue slime though. Because that makes us do... Just in case we need them, some more white lilies or white petals. And let's finish building, closing down the town. That's a nice one. Alright, so wow, you found some plum berries. Yep, I didn't have to build those. Uh, would I want to hand that over? Uh, I only have five. Can I give you one? Why are you gonna be so greedy? Hooray, right, thanks. To tell you the truth, I'm actually really, really hungry. No freaking way. I heard your stomach. It told me. Here, these are for you. It's your share. I mean, you must be starving too, right? They're really tasty. You should try them. So she gives me a share after I got them all. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm giving you a share. Uh, so we have three, uh, and that's where the uh, food or the hunger meter is introduced. She wants to talk some more. People's a talker. She likes to talk. Pretty useful to have something to store all the stuff, don't you think? That would be nice, yes? Hello viewer, welcome! Hey, what's up? That's the banana gator! The banana gangsta! Bro, this is the game that I was telling you about, man. So this is just like... Uh, just like Minecraft, but with better graphics. And Pippa over here is trying to seduce me. She's getting all clothes. Getting all... She got some lipstick, lipstick on. And she's like... B make me stuff Pippa after all you're going to have to collect a lot of different materials pretty soon Why yes, why Pippa? Well, it's a secret Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah uh, Let me find out how to do that To make a chest, Pippa, you are a lifesaver. Is that better? Awesome. Alright. So, you missed a lot. 
uh, we uh, we got a banner, so we set it here, and we're gonna build our own town. We uh, built a room for Pippa, and she wanted to sleep together, but you know I told her that I was married, so so we had to put two different beds, and I put a separate. I actually should probably build like a wall here, just so she stays on her <laughs> on her end of the house. Uh, and then, what did she say what I need to do? Oh, I need to create a chest. Shit. How do I create a chest? Alright. Um, okay, so I need three. I have it. Alright, here comes Pippa to, to praise me. There you go, Pippa. Yes, Pippa. What? I don't know. I just woke up from a slumber. Yeah, man, the graphics are. I mean, I'm not a graphics whore, but they, I just don't like Minecraft the way it looks, to be honest with you. It's just not my style. Uh, and I get to play basically the same game, but just with really better graphics. Ever since it's been all anyone could do just to survive. Nobody cares about anyone but themselves, and they never help anyone else. Anyway, I think it's super boring to live like that. Don't you think it would be fun if we could rebuild this city and everyone could live together? Pippa, if you would help me, that would be great, but you are not helping me. You are literally just telling me what to do. And I don't like that tone you have with me. Ugh, oh, I'm angry. I feel like if you're around, anything can happen. Oh, oh people! Like, again, I'm married. Should do everything we can to make this town a great place to live. But we'll need loads. <laughs> loads and loads of materials to do that. That's why I asked you to make a chest. I don't know why people has saying all this double meaning stuff, man. But I think she wants me. <laughs> Alright, so it's agreed. We're going to build the biggest, best city in the whole wide world. I'll have, I'll have a think about what we need to build. You'll build it. Yep. That's how it usually works. You're going to help me, aren't you? Yeah, aren't you? Alright, so we got two broken branches. Uh, yeah, and then uh, just like, uh, just like in Minecraft. Uh, the uh, at night, you know, obviously there's a time uh, they the monsters attack. So uh, there's a sign here that says that the monsters attack from this direction every time. So I fortified that wall over there. And honestly, man, there's no time limit, so you can always just kind of build whatever you want as much as you want. Uh, but right now, I'm just trying to get all the items. It's going to be a lot of work to turn this place into a huge city, isn't it? Is there anything I can do to help? Like, maybe I could build something. That would be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? But if I'm going to build things, I'm going to need a room to work in. Just like the one in this picture. Can you build me a room like this? Like the one I've drawn? Please, pretty please. With cherry on top and sprinkles and everything nice. It would seem that your example has to work in within, young Pippa. That will the will to build. Alright, so she gives a blueprint. Uh, we can press the button. Alright, cool. Uh, so this is a girl that's in my head. She also talks to me at the same time. I guess this is the tutorial. viewers welcome we're playing some dragon quest builders pippa is my new uh, side chick or at least she's trying to be but i told her that i was married so um, all right so we learned how to make a straw door so where should we build this blueprint this
what t-shirt I got on today. Oh man, I just, you know, I just bought it, so. Oh. I got the rags today. I got the pimping shirt. Alright, is that what you're asking me? Getting dark. Where the hell is, is the door? Oh, I need three grass leaves. Shit. Shite. Oh yeah, bro. I I tried to do my haircut and I fucked it up. <laughs> it looks so funny, but it's okay. It will grow back, hopefully. Hey, Arshida Gamer, welcome. I don't know what you're talking about. Hello, viewers. Welcome to the stream. How are y'all doing today? We're playing some Dragon Quest Builders. Better version of Minecraft, in my opinion. Better graphics, better gameplay. Sexier people. Oh, shit. How do I drop stuff? I should probably just put this somewhere. Uh, oh, I could just put a chest there. I need to put a chest there anyways. I'm so dumb. I just need to take this over there. Anyways. No! No, Brian, no! Do not. You do not want to see the haircut. I look like... I don't even know what I look like, man. I, what? No, I don't. <laughs> I do not look like that. A Chinese version of the Jonas brother. Brian says to text it to him. <laughs> okay, Brian. No, Brian, don't. Because then you're going to share it. Alright, we're going to need to make a bonfire. How do we do that? Oh, perfect. We got the stuff. All right, so we built a workplace. Ah, oh, that music is so nostalgic. Hmm. All right, baby, send it to send it to. I look like The Rock. If The Rock didn't look so good, you know, I look better than The Rock. He says, "Do you smell what The Rock is cooking?" I say. Bitch, I'm done cooking. <laughs> I don't need to cook anymore. <laughs> Alright, Pippa. <laughs> Pippa sleeping. Pippa, you better stay over there. You better stay in your place. Okay. We just gotta make sure. I have a wife. <laughs> you stay over there, Pippa. We trapped her in there. Let's take a nap though. What did I cook? Uh, I don't I, I don't know Brian, what do you like? I cook whatever you like. Uh, so how about I cook some big pie in the sky? Or some steak and shake. Alright, so Pippa's very happy that we finished her, her thing. Thanks, it's just like the one in my picture. Oof! The inhabitants of... What is oft? Anybody know what oft means? Will the inhabitants of your town seek to assist your efforts by pressing on... Pressing you with blueprints. Should you lack sufficient resources to complete a blueprint or other construction, search for them in the nearby wilderness. Okay, so materials can only be obtained by defeating the monsters that maraud the wilds, thus freeing them from their grasp. Yeah, some good steak, yep. 
I'm going to use my new workroom to build all sorts of stuff. I'll put it all in the chest in the end of the day so you can take a look at all the amazing things I made. Uh, Pippa, this game is about me being the builder. Uh, you're just trying to steal my thunder, and I don't like that. I have a stick here that I can whoop you with. Don't make me hit you in your face. Doesn't she look like... Uh, well, uh, we're gonna play in just a few minutes, actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it, because I wanna play with the family. So, I'm gonna end the stream in just a moment, after I finish talking to her. I'm gonna save it, and then we're gonna play some Overcooked with the family. We're probably gonna fight. So, if you guys like a good show, make sure you tune in, because I'm about to get my butt ripped by my wife. Bro, we do need a fourth player. I just don't have a fourth fourth controller. Uh, because some of the missions just seem like they need a fifth, uh, a fourth player. Seriously, uh, is it not cross-platform? Yeah, are she the gamer? Yes, she's off the charts. All right, so we're done with this, guys. So uh, again, I want to play a little bit of Overcooked, as I promised uh, to all my fans from around the world we're gonna play some overcooked if you want to watch that watch us play uh let, stay tuned i'll be uh, i'll be back up in just a moment let me just save this and then uh we'll get to cooking all right guys so thank you very much for watching my stream. I hope to hope you guys like. Uh, basically, uh, my side chick is make is cooking for me. That's right. Get in the kitchen. You stay in the kitchen. <laughs> uh, so my side chick is cooking for me. Uh, my wife is nowhere to be found. And uh, uh, just to make sure she doesn't come into my bed. But anyways, uh, we're about to stream some Overcooked, and I'll see you guys there, hopefully. Take care.